Thank you so much. You're welcome back again, our dear viewers of Smart24. In our topic of discussion, the state of health services delivery in Uganda. How best the government can improve health sector that benefits all. For overview, as you continue from where we started, I want to bring this to the understanding of our dear viewers. We are very much concerned that the health care provision should not only be for the rich. Some countries are sharing with the information freely, like the neighboring country of Rwanda, they were able to come up with a health insurance care program, which was for all. And remember, our discussion, Honorable, we are looking at how can we can put the standard of good health care provision that cares for even someone down there in the village, someone down there in our slums areas of the city who cannot afford to pay one million of that medical screening, someone there who is being underpaid, who cannot manage the health insurance that is provided to ministers and members of parliament. Because this is, a, this is what is realistic. It should be for all. Yes, it should be for all. Members of parliament, when they get sick, I, I have vivid information, they can, there is a provision by service providers, SANLAM and so forth, which can enable them even to get medication as far as to abroad. But this defeats us, especially as a country, with historical background, dear viewers, without missing any word and without any creating any bias or error. During 1962, especially between then and to 1980, I recall the days of Oboti, the, 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 the ruling, uh, the, the, the term of office of the regime of Oboti, uh, the late, may his soul rest in turn of peace, and also, I mean, basically, those leaders, they had the pride that you can be sick and you go to Malabo and you get health services without going elsewhere. I also recall of recent, uh, the late Magufuli Pombe, he reached a, a time during his challenging health situation and he appealed to the government of Tanzania, not take him anywhere, and he said, I trust and I believe that the health provision in my country, Tanzania, should be able to equally take care of myself, or if he was, of himself rather, if he was to live. And back here home in Uganda, as we look at what can we do best? A number of initiatives have been proposed. And again, with your so expertise so recommendations. Are our leaders yes. getting treated in our hospitals? No, no, that, that's of course, it is where you will, you will add in the voice, and it is very much known that our leaders, members of parliament, ministers, and those whose health is directly insured by the government, they don't get most of them health services here. And those who get it from here, they go to the private, the private sector. High end private hospitals. Hospitals. So while we are proposing methods, while we are proposing and are devising where possible the government and the stakeholders, how best can we achieve this and bridge the gap? Once again, Honorable, you can come on, we shall add on that. We are talking about quality health services for all. It should be for all. Yes. Not only for a, no, a minister, not only for, the few, for a member of parliament. Not only that. for the chosen Because, few. you know, death can affect mm. everyone. Everyone's health matters. Mm. Whether you are from deep in the village, whether you are from, whether you are homeless uh, because of the abject poverty, every, health, every life of an individual matters. So equity in health is very important. Equity. equity. To the extent that when you are talking about equity, it's not about to say that uh, only the rich must access the high-end quality. No. To the extent that now we are talking about the extra rich, you are now this healthy tourism. And you find that the rich and the most favored are going to India. Why should our people go to India? Why can't we have these hospitals here? You pay a hundred million did for, we your, have, for your Why did we commit cost. one point something, one point four trillion to build a high-end hospital in Ruboa and up to now one year down the road? It's not built. Why can't we have a Murago, a national referral hospital? Why can't we have forty Muragos in our in our in Regional, in, in, in all region, our, our regions, in our and regions, sub -regions. Yes. in sub-regions. Why can't we have this kind of services? Why our doctors leaving Uganda to go and work abroad? 
Makere gives the best education, health education. Makere produces the best doctors in this region, in Africa. But when our doctors are trained, they, there is brain drainage. They go to other countries, they go to Europe, they go to America to practice from there. Why? Because they are not paid well here. Why? Because we have not given them a priority. Our health, our doctors, our health service providers. So we should commit more money to these doctors so that they get a good pay. Doctors, nurses, midwives, all of them into that category. Honor, there's some good information I want to share with you right. and the viewers for the facilitation of health medical consultants. Uh, we have a press release of today, 18th. Uh, no, no, it was of, on 18th. Uh, March 222, the Minister of Finance has promised. We pray that it can be realized, and by saying it right now on air. How many times have they promised? We believe that we will put, maybe the citizens will demand it more, since they have again promised that the salary, the current salary, and the proposed salary of the following medical personnel, one, Health medical consultant currently is earning 7.3 million. And the promise, which is quite good, is, is that 17, they are going to be paid, there is a secured fund to pay them next, maybe financial year, 17.4 million. This is quite good to me. Again, they are also referring to medical uh, consultants. They are, being paid, they are being paid 6 million. And next financial year, they are going to be paid. 12.7 million. This is another good, a good proposal. Then and also, principal medical officers, currently, they are being paid 4.5. And maybe, I'm hopeful, the next financial year, they are going to be paid 8 million. Finally, the enrolled nurses, I think they are also going to be happy. They are being paid six, uh, 613,000. Next financial year, 1.3 million. Should we say that so if now, this proposal, one second, so if this proposal is implemented, will it sol solve the, uh, the brain drain, especially where we are losing a lot of the workforce going and for, what about, uh, going the, for uh, green pastures? Basic doctors, how much are, you pay? are they going to be paid? Health medical consultant, currently no, being paid. No, no, doctors. Doctors. Mm. Uh, I think these are the level of principal medical officer, 4.5. 4.5 million. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. A what? Doctor. A principal? Medical officer. How much are you paying a member of parliament? You can give us No, no, figure. give me the answer, you know. I think, you first, of, first of all, you know. you, they are being paid. You have been working in parliament. Of, yes, it's okay. In last year. Number how of much, moments, how and, much uh, is the member of parliament? Including paid? fewer. You know, they scattered no, 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 in no, no, different, best, but the, the sum, the total, package, yes. the package total, yes. 30, 30 million. Okay, thank you very much. Between 30 to 25, depending on the distance. Thank you Where they much. come from. Okay. I think I'm very sad on that. So you are paying mm. 500 that a million, 530 million. people. Huh? Mm. 30 million per month. But you are, find, you, are, you are finding it, you are very proud to announce that a full doctor is going to be receiving 4.5 million. 8 million, that's a proposal. No, no, you have talked about 4.5 million. Currently they are being paid 4.5. No, we are talking about a medical doctor. Currently, yes. they are being paid 4.5. And the proposal is No, those is are consultants. Eight. Medical. A doctor who have just left Makeve University, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. graduated, mm -hmm. how much is he going to be paid? He's going to be paid 8 million shillings. Okay, let me take your 8 million shillings, which is not actually which I'm, which, which I'm doubting. You don't doubt, uh, this is No, research. please, let's not waste time on that. <laughs> okay. Because we are talking about consultants. Yes. We have, where we need, we need the doctors, practicing the clinical doctors. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, the big, those are the people who treat the people. So if we are not going to have equity, even if we are talking about this kind of salary, equity, where everyone feels is being paid in the same cohort. If I'm a doctor, if I'm a teacher, if I'm teaching in a university, if I'm teaching in a secondary school, you don't feel that why does an executive director get 50 million shillings who has done a master's because he's executive director. And then for me, who is in charge of Murago Hospital, I'm a director of Murago Hospital, I'm being paid 
only 17 million shillings. I have a question for you. you. Get my point? I have a question for so you. So the equity we are talking about, mm -hmm. if we had a leveled salary scale, where everyone, where, where our salaries, uh, there is equity. But you find those who are in administration are being paid much more. And these who are delivering the real services, the health workers, the extension workers in agriculture, the engineers who are doing the road construction are being paid less. So if we are to have these technical people paid across board, paid in a more similar way that is motivating, then that would become, then you have nationalism, then you have patriotism. But when you care about this patriotism and nationalism, you are, going, you are having this patriotism and nationalism being preached by the politician and the, and the uh, political administrators because they are more remunerated. Can but I have to ask you one question? Okay. Be free. Yes. I'm, I'm always proud when I'm having in a such talk show because I want to look at, I appreciate as I started your great contribution. While you're a member of parliament, and right now maybe in advocacy, because it's not over until it's over, was there a bill either which was, whether it succeeded or not, which was referring to streamlining this oh, yeah. and equal, and equal, oh, yes. and equal employment and opportunities. To also, and to what was shut down. Like I remember, I was with uh, Sech Kubo, Honorable Sech Kubo, Honorable Bariomunsi, Honorable Tinka Simire. Honorable when you was that, Honorable Bariomunsi. Okay, you get my point. Yes. When you wanted, when you were arguing that the cost of administration through these vehicles, mm -hmm. which are costing 200 million, 300 million, should reduce. And we came with a proposal that if technical people, if government workers would be advanced money to buy their own vehicles and then government commits to pay them per mileage mm -hmm. for the fuel and the other for mileage then you would reduce on the cost of transportation of government staff it was shut down yes 15 years down the road i see it coming back just recently i was one of the people who have been involved in the rationalization of agencies Yes, for the fact for I have been, I, I have studied this thing I know, mm -hmm. where you are having people who are working in the agency, we call it agentification, mm -hmm. where you have people who are in the agency, these authorities, mm -hmm. they are paid like 10 times more, five times more than the people who are delivering technical people within the ministries or the government. Mm -hmm. So the study shows that the equity is possible. Equity is equity possible. is possible. Is it catered for under the equity equi, equity opportunity? Equal opportunity. Equal yes, equal opportunity. So act. you must give Uganda the same opportunity. Let us have the pay which is leveled, so that everyone is satisfied with what he gets. But again, give the quality health education health health services, because you see why and education. Mm, and there you, is education, yes, by the way. That's you important. find a policeman, how much are we paying policemen? But the same school where a policeman takes his kid is where the member of parliament takes his kid. What is your view on health where insurance? insurance? What is your view on health same insurance? Story, my Universal if we are talking health about insurance. health insurance, yes. you would put as a government and say, Every citizen, every citizen, every citizen, yes, is covered up to this amount of money. You pay some little money Whether and you're covered. We, you can even say, if you say, public, even if it is public hospitals mm -hmm. or private hospitals, I don't know if you partner with private hospitals, mm -hmm. you say that each per capita expenditure on every citizen is so much, mm -hmm. so that you you make you you ensure so that I start getting medication from my own bill. But actually, in the actual sense, it is the government which is paying, not me paying. Mm -hmm. When we say 1.5 trillion budget for Harris, where is it going? Mm -hmm. When you have that kind of Harris insurance, mm -hmm. you will take your card, they will give you the drugs. Mm -hmm. They will not say that the drugs are not there. Mm -hmm. You can even go to the private hospitals. So the kind of health insurance that we have again, it is for the few. You, you ensure you ensure very few proportion of the people, and the rest of the population is not insured. Mm -hmm. It's not given health insurance. Mm -hmm. So when you give quality health services, and you give quality education services, mm -hmm. 
and you give quality public services, then there will be no need, even if you pay me little, at least I know that I'm not going to spend on health, I'm not going to spend on education, I'm not going to pay on school fees, I'm going to, my money is for my saving. But now, there is a high demand, no wonder there is corruption, because you have to pay, even a kid who is going in the nursery, you pay in a million, some people pay me in millions. Your kid goes to primary, you are, you are paying in millions. Your kid goes to university in millions. Your kid goes to a technical school, you are paying in millions. Where will you get that money? But if the government was providing such a kind of services, mm -hmm. then it could be that a welfare of the citizens. Mm -hmm. Then the little salary that you are having, whether you are a policeman, whether you are an army, whether you are a teacher, but what is so surprising, you find that even the teachers who teach, they don't put their, their pupils or their children in the schools they teach. Mm -hmm. They take them in private schools. Yes, please. Doctors who are working in Morago, when their children and their parents get sick, they take them in private hospitals. Private hospitals. Not in government hospitals where they are giving services. Mm -hmm. Meaning they have no confidence in the hospitals where they serve. Teachers have no confidence in the schools they teach. But if you had confidence in the, health, in the hospital where you do, you are offering health service, you have confidence in the school you teach, you have confidence in the government system, delivery systems, then you would be accessing those kind of services at no pay. Or even if you are going to pay, little pay if it is cost sharing. Mm -hmm. But no pay, let's talk about no pay. Mm -hmm. You would be assured of... Uh, uh, an extension, agricultural extension worker, mm -hmm. a veterinary extension worker. Mm -hmm. But all these services have crumbled down. So everything is being, every service is bought. Because every service is bought, bought life becomes very expensive. Thank you. Because life is very expensive, you bridge that life, that expensive life, by looking money elsewhere. They end up, that's where you end up having people stealing government money. It's no longer corruption, it's globally. globally. You end up robbing government money. Mm -hmm. You end up robbing money that you are given services. So heresy services is key. Education is key. All these services from government. Thank you. We are very grateful for your patriotic contribution of ideas. And my question remains, whether the trust as well, we who are discussing this topic, and the viewers, their concern, continuing to think when we such a good ideas be put into implementation. Transit into action. Yes, be transited into action. Be implemented as reliable strategies. Let the citizens demand. Be because the, the current state of our governance continue to hinge on the power of those who are in authority to determine what those who are governed should get, other than the other way around, the power of those who are governed to demand what they need. And there is a sense of apathy, there is a sense of loss of hope that maybe even those who may propose these ideas, that's what I've just had this in the community, as a man, public management scientist, we just get collective views. Even we will elect another member of parliament, will go into that seat, they will just eat money. Eat, eat man. They say, ah, those have gone to eat money. Currently, that's what citizens yeah. are mastering. And, and as a matter of fact, the citizens who are supposed to demand for these services... at the time of voting. So now, by the time of voting, they say, ah, we have also got you. The only way to do, Pack let's up. get all that we can from you, yeah. and you go. Go and eat your money. As a country, which want to create wealth? As a country, which want to support a very strong health community or populacy that will translate into wealth. It remains a big challenge. And yet, we believe if there is a government willingness that I'm appealing now to, maybe through the viewers and those who are part of the system, that adopting some of these strategies would have made sense to improve our quality of health. It couldn't be meaningful, honorable, I mean, this agreement and dear viewers, as we are giving this view, in our Polycon program, to find that when you are a daughter of a minister, for you are guaranteed to go send your daughter to give birth from 
from China. India. India. That cannot take us anywhere as a country. Kenya. Honorable, I don't know. How are we going by, whether by miracle, I don't know, no. to turn this around? Revolution. Because st states which are great states, we are looking yes. at India, we are looking at Singapore, which are at the same level. They made the deliberate actions and they said this is how yes, we are going to do it. Yes, deliberate action. Thank you very much. Deliberate action. Mm. We must make a deliberate move to liberate ourselves. Mm. The people must make a deliberate move to deliberate themselves. To liberate themselves. Yes. How can they do There must be a revolution, a revolution, a revolutionary methods of work. The people must wake up to demand. How will they do it? Because if they try to go on the street, they First will be aghast. No, it's not about being aghast. You know we are 45 million people now. Mm -hmm. If you say that it may be removed 15 or... or uh, 17 to, voters. Yes. 17 then you million have voters. 30, if 30 million people woke up and demanded the quality services, where would you have 30 million bullets to kill all these people? Oh, 30 million you soldiers. Pay. So not until when the people wake up and demand, not until when these people wake up and these have we politicians who go over there. I saw one in Kenya where a member of parliament went to ask for votes and they gave him water which was fetched from the roadside from the and roadside. say give take the water this is the kind of this water, we the are water which are drink. Did he take it? until when these members of parliament or politicians until when we go there and they give us that sort of so water that's equity until when mm -hmm. these politicians mm -hmm. you go in the slum and they give you sewage water oh when you, be, you become sick and they say you are not going anywhere you, you, you are hey. going to go to morago or hey. center for until when or until hospital. when these citizens mm -hmm. Make a road broker for an ambulance for a politician being taken on the airport and say, go back in Morago. Until when that is not done, we need to do that. And then we revolutionary, that's the revolution I'm talking about. This NRM that we are talking about and thinking about, it was a revolution of the people. The revolution of the people. Yes. But they are still saying they are now, still. Now, this revolution, revolution of the people, mm. you get my point? Mm. Maybe it is getting of age. We need, getting of age? Yes, it needs to be revitalized. Uh, revitalized. Because at the time when NRM came, the people were demanding. Mm -hmm. And when the people they were demanding, there was, no com there was no commercialization of politics. I have told you when I, how I came to be a member of parliament. Yeah, yeah. I was mm -hmm. competing with Suma, who was a professor was, and a doctor. By the way, was even a And then I, 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 I put my point. I didn't he have had money. money. The guy had people, money. People elected me. Mm. There's one time when I was in Rwanda and I said I'm not going for campaigns and they elected me without campaigning. Right. I never dished any money. 2006. Yes. Yes. So what is happening now? Now the next time when I went there they said, "Ha, honorable. There's a pattern you shift, have to you know? give money. You have you to give know? us money. Yes. You either give us money you, because they said the other one is giving money. Mm. So not until when this kind of revolution comes in and this business of saying that when the, the people demand, they must be tear gassed, they must, a hair of bullets must, you know, their viewers, things must change. Yes, their viewers. They, and this kind of change must be deliberate. Thank you. And this change of this deliberate change thank you. must be spearheaded by the, 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 the patriot, patriots, thank you. nationalists, mm -hmm. and people who are determined to make things change. Thank you. Not, not, not this business of saying Jafkandimu. People who come with Jafkandimu. Dear viewers from north to west, east, central, all Ugandans and across board the continent, we are very much mindful about how we can have an improved state of providing quality health care and which should be for all. The articulation being made here is not aiming at even maybe staging a battle to anybody but we are saying no stage we, a battle what are you talking about we are saying that they were not stage a battle we are saying we are saying that there should be a deliberate move and you are viewing us it should start with you honorable that's what i was diving into it should start with you and the way how you demand how you demand these services join us in this having a responsive citizen citizenship is one of a preparing factor transform our society from lamenting to a better lifestyle and which is of an economically empowered population and again other points honorable which we also find is lacking apart from the issue of the gap 
which we are having between those who demand services and those who, are, who get the services, because that's a gap. We again find out that ed health education is minimal, is not given value. Those who are supposed to do it, and the government tries to do so, either maybe whether they understand, I don't know, you hear about the public health uh, educators at the sub-county level, the health inspectors. We wonder, why is that there is minimum supervision? I would like to identify this challenge in the state of providing health services in Uganda, that we have also poor supervision, because the state can, the government can fund programs, but again, the supervision is again minimal, and all else, it is scanty. And again, we also look at the nature of supporting, the level of supporting health research for purpose of acquiring information and share information is also minimal. The community empowerment of screening different kind of sickness that our citizens are suffering, this element or this uh, activity is not given chance. Some members of parliament have tried at times to do it at their personal expenses and connection, but it's not making a headway. So we continue to look at how can we quicken again in these other areas, because there are other areas apart from the responsibility the staff, there. The, the health education, yes. the research, and the yes. health system info, uh, uh, information system sharing, which is awareness. Because one of the reasons why we had the challenge during this time of COVID we realize that the health education is minimal in our community. Hello, brother. COVID was made into a business. Oh, that is quite very, very, very unfortunate. And you see where the money, if you can see the money that oh. was committed to COVID, fighting COVID, did that money COVID go was actually, made a business? Would it was actually go, did it go actually to, 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 to that uh, COVID mm -hmm. intervention? So some or some of the people may turn it into a business. A business. And I was extortion. Who it a business? Because it is a. I think my paradox. brother, my brother, some of the questions you ask me, I wonder why you ask me those. I questions. ask you because there's someone who's there. Who said no, no, no. people were dying and others know. are enjoying it as at a business. You know. No, I don't know. There, no, brother. At least you do. You you are a doctor. You know that there is a lot of abuse of public resources. Okay, then now, now when you ask me and say that, you mean there is abuse of public health resources, public resources in the health? I just say, I say, are you from Mars? Because you know the money, even the money, even the budget of 1.5, 1.5 trillion mm -hmm. that we are, that we are allocating, that is appropriated to health, health, Minister of Health. If this money was put into the right services, mm -hmm. at least our people would be getting services. But the money which is being invest, uh, appropriated, I don't recall the incident. reach the people. I recall the incident mm -hmm. where oxygen. There is a, oh, there is okay. a, a, a Thank you very yes much. oxygen plant. Yes, the oxygen plant yes. and uh, one of uh, one of uh, a service provider who is linked up with uh, those who are in power. Those who are in power, please don't ask me. That's the that means the state. Those who are in those networks was given six, was it six billion and was to provide, uh, you know, the, the oxygen plant and which failed up to now. So you see that I've not seen any report. you are talking as a doctor. <laughs> the other time, what was it? You are talking like... Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you are talking uh, like... No. <laughs> you see, we okay, interrogate the problem and so want to find a solution. See, That's why I go into that. Now my, we my doctor of public health management. Mm -hmm. This is where the problem is. What we are talking about, corruption, yeah, where we are talking about corruption, mm -hmm. abuse of uh, and misallocation of public resources, abuse of public resources, this is where the problem is. Money is provided for, you know what happens to the Gavi funds, mm -hmm. money which was meant for, for vaccination, mm -hmm. money which was meant for malaria, money which was meant for treating the HIV patients. You remember the Gavi funds? We Where remember. some ministers ended up going to Ruzira. We have uh, Honorable Kamsha, yeah. Honorable, the current yeah. one, Honorable they, they, Jim Wesley. They, 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 they went to jail as But they say they were exonerated. As politicians. They are free. You get my point, mm -hmm. as politicians. Mm -hmm. Because they say they did not do oversight to role. Yes. But did we see any technical person 
who were controlling the money going to jail? No. I, I want to give you information. So when that. we are going to fight this kind of um, abuse of public resources, resources mm. it must be across the board. Mm. Zero terrorists. But that is the song. Okay. I don't know when. How are we going to? Realize? You know this song. I, I told you not until when a revolution happens. When the people then want lead, to, lead us, lead us, and we say we can do it. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know whether I don't know. You don't know. The Messiah will emerge. It can be. It can be me. It can be you. Mm. But we need a real, a real Messiah. Mm. Okay. Because we really need it to be delivered. Okay. As we talk now, when you say that now. Well, how have these countries they achieved this? Yeah, they have achieved it. Go across it. here in Rwanda and see. India was the same level. Yeah, no, Rwanda. forget about India. Just Kenya, go Kenya by the way, Kenya is the better. The health services in Rwanda. And also Kenya. You get? Yes. Because there was deliberate, you are talking about supervision, there was deliberate mm -hmm. intervention into this sector to make sure the drugs are there. Health workers work. You, you chop they chop supervise. Uh, government funds, they chop the you too. The leadership yes. is the key. In China, if you steal government the funds, they, eh, is it China? Yeah, they and shoot and sometimes, you. Yes. And sometimes you find the people are supposed to be doing the work. You have, I have my very good example. Mm -hmm. you have, I have my very good friend, Dr. Badio Munz. Mm -hmm. In which ministry is he? That's the IT and the national guidance. Special? Yes. Huh? Yes. Dr. Badio Yes, one well, minute as we conclude, yes. yes. But you have a journalist mm -hmm. who is pretending over the... Min Aha. Dr. Badio is pretending over... The petrol public health. Wait a minute, you interrupt mm -hmm. me a lot. It's okay. Dr. Badio mm -hmm. is pretending over mm -hmm. uh, a docket for journalism communication, okay? National mm -hmm. guidance. Mm -hmm. Where actually my good friend Muhanga would be pressed because they did journalism. Mm -hmm. But you have Mohanga in the Minister of Harris, a journalist, Minister of Harris. Mm -hmm. But you have Dr. Badge Munsi doing journalism. You know, we need to be deliberate even in our leadership so that the right people take the right position. You also have another, my good friend, Anipa Kawoya, my sister, in the Minister of Harris. In the Minister of uh, Ocheng, hey. Ocheng, uh, Ocheng. Hey, hey, hey. Anipa Kawoya is a mobilizer. Statements. He can work very well into this mobilization into the president's office. Okay? Yeah. But get these other doctors. Let the Minister of Health be superintended by people who know. So the issue is here I'm talking about is the right people are doing jobs that are not for them. Put the right people in the right position. In the right position to, okay? ease, to ease supervision. Ye Put the right people in the right position. Mm -hmm. hmm? You have Minister of Works. I'm sorry, I don't know how people will perceive this. You have a Minister of Works. Yeah. You have my very good friend, General Katumba. Katumba Wamari. Wamari. Why don't you put Katumba Wamari in defense? Comes the defense? Comes the Minister of Defense. And manage those uh, soldiers. You get one of those. Uh, then you get that, uh, you get this. Uh, a lawyer or uh, boss. You, you, get an, you, you, you get somebody who has in, in a good culture. No, you are put. This kind of mismatch. Okay. And then if, no one, if you, uh, we, you, are, you are being told that, you know, uh, the because, mismatch because of, of time. employing wrong people, right people in wrong position. Yeah. And when you do this, you will find that this one is cutting across. So you're even going to have wrong people who are thieves and they are being given. We'll jobs. stop at that when they steal the money, Yes. When they are caught stealing the money, instead of firing them, they change them even into more, more luxurious and more fatty jobs. Yes. Just, why don't you fire him? And get the right people who are honest to do this kind of jobs. Honorable, thank the you so much. Honest people are not employed. The thieves are the ones who are having the jobs. I see the, the person, right people I see the the person right is iron and unstoppable, but dear viewers, all this is a passionate Ugandan. You have heard me and the Ugandans have heard. And, and very much, and I see you still want to talk more, which is very important. But I, I will talk the management and we'll have this topic again. There are some pertinent issues that have been aired out. How on this point, how we can have uh, improve our quality best heritage services for our country that will benefit all. And uh, we appreciate to have come here to, to, uh, this evening to share a lot with Ugandans. 
And a lot still remains wanting to see how we can improve the quality health care provision. But again, I will leave with you a date. They say once you are a minister, you, you will not answer I, I, you will, this. I think you, you will not answer on this point. I think you need to stop referring to me as a once you refer me to you me first, me we first as wait. a nationalist you first a wait. patriot. Once you are so a, that I a, a minister. So that I talk in a patriotic way okay, let's, let's and go. in a nationalist way. Let's go. Once you're a minister, we still believe that you can come up with a paper document that you can still write Give and it send to, 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 to your former to boss. And you say, please. My paper is, is here. I have said it in the camera. <laughs> Thank and these so people in the camera are seeing me. This is my paper. Yeah, viewers, thank you they, so and much. And they have heard me. We appreciate for our Honorable Banyanza Chief for his passionate discussion in our Polcon program. Meet next time. God bless you. Good night.